Today we are using ChatGPT and Gemini to create an extremely scary horror game. So the goal is to see which one of these models would be able to scare me the most. Is it gonna be Gemini or is it gonna be ChatGPT? In this video we will find out. So the first thing that we wanna do is create a prompt and the components that I want this game to have is are the following. So write me a prompt to create a scary horror first person game. I want this game to have the following. So first, of course, it must be a 3D game. The player must be in first person. I don't want it to be in third person or I don't want it to be a 2D game. You should have a world with a story. I would like it to have a story instead of just, you know, okay, you need to find this um, thing and then you need to complete this task and then avoid this monster and that's it. I want something that would make this game more interesting to play. And finally, it should have music and sound effects because sound is the main thing that helps us navigate through different emotions. Should I be scared? Should I be laughing? Should I be happy? Etc. So I'll provide all those assets in the sound folder or in the music folder. And that's pretty much it. Now we'll do the same thing here in Gemini. But first, let's start with ChatGPT. Let's send it. Honestly, let's do it now. I'll just copy this and then paste it here as well. And we'll just send it here. So ChatGPT is finally done. We have the following prompt. Scary horror first person 3D game using web and 3JS. So the core requirements, it must be a real 3D game, not a fake 2.5D or ray casting demo. The player must be in first person view with the following uh, mouse look. WASD movement, collision with walls and objects, that's good, and smooth camera movements. And the horror elements are the following, so sudden sound cues, door slamming, okay, lights turning off, and shadow movement, or simple enemy silhouette. Okay, so we have almost everything that we need, maybe we can just copy all of this. And then we'll go back to cursor and we'll make sure that we are using GPT 5.2, and we'll paste the prompt here so we can just send this a few inches okay so chat gpt is finally done i created a new folder 3js horror i can see it right over here we also have the following folders audio music player sounds and world i guess the next thing we need to do is add the following assets and that's it a local server is already running in the background so we can just open this so the game is called cold wake you wake on a concrete floor, the lights above you hum in pain. The controls are mouse, double ASD to move, shift to walk faster, aka run, E to interact, escape to release the pointer. Okay? Audio requires interaction. Your assets should be in music. Okay, I already did that. So let's just click to play. Where am I? It's completely dark. I don't see anything. Also, I want to say that the controls are inversed. If I press S, I move forward. If I press W, I move backwards. Now I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's something here. Oh, this is good. Press E to read. I'm pressing E. It's not working. Let's take a look at the console. Ah, uh, okay. So we have a couple of errors. Ah, uh, okay, it's supposed to be inside of the sounds folder. My bad. Alright, let's reload the page. Much better. We finally have music. Okay, not gonna lie, that is creepy. <laughs> you see, that's what I'm talking about. The music and the sound effects is what makes a horror game. If you don't have that component, it's not gonna be a good horror game. There, there's nothing else. It's just the note. There are problems in the game. Okay, so now it's done. It should be fixed. We can go back to the game. Hard refresh and then click to play. Where am I? I don't have flashlight. I don't think it added flashlight. Next, I'll open up the corridor walls, actual doorways into the side rooms, plus a doorway into the exit vestibule, so the game is finishable. And then I'll add a camera-mounted flashlight, toggle key. 
Toggle key? What is a toggle key? So we can finally read the note. Smeared note. If you're reading this, you're still breathing. No shit. The doors lock on their own. The lights. They watch you. Don't trust the quiet. Ooh. Okay, I guess we can continue. Jesus. Girl, you need to stop doing that. You're scaring me. I don't see any... What was that? What was that? Unfortunately, we don't have flashlights, so I might have to edit this in post. Behind you. Behind me? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, mother f That scared me. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Where's the door? What the fuck is a verbi- verbitule? Un pièce d'entrée. Okay, a door. Okay, so I'm trying to just fill the wall. Okay, so now we have a flashlight, hopefully. Okay, GPT 5.2 is just trolling at this point. I'm pressing F and it's not turning on the flashlight. Am I tripping right now? Okay. Something shift. Where? Where? Oh, f off, dude. F off, dude. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm done with ChatGPT. It managed to scare me, so let's just move on to Gemini. And here we go. We have Bunker Scape. Same thing, we have WASD to move, we have mouse to look, and we, we need to find three notes. This is literally Slenderman. And I don't know, guys, if you can see it, but there's something here. I'm trying to click start, but it doesn't work. Okay, let's go back to VS Code and mention that it's not working. Let's try it again. Here we go. Okay. Oh, this is much better. It's even using a texture. I like that. But we don't have music. We don't have audio or sound effects. And that's because we haven't used any assets. I haven't specified that in the prompt. So we're going to add those assets later on. So there's something here. I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, that was the note. <laughs> Interesting. Day one, they lock the doors. The air is getting stale. Press it close. Okay. I'm guessing that's the other note. Oh, it's floating. Oh, that was so cool. Don't look at it. At what exactly? Ah, run! <laughs> Let's take the other note here. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be the last note. Day four. I hear breathing in the walls. I'm not alone. Yep, we are not because we can see someone here. <laughs> now what? I have all the notes, so how do we end this game? I've been walking around here for about a minute and I haven't seen any doors. Wanna make out? <laughs> Uh, that was nice. That was a jump scare. Okay, let's try and fix the game. Okay, so here's the updated game. We have the WASD. We need to find three notes and avoid the ghost. And we need to find the key. And then skate. Let's do this. And it's finally using the music. Okay, same note. Nothing changed. But... Ah! <laughs> Not gonna lie, that scared me. I dropped the key in the center of the room. Okay. But there's no key. I guess we need to find the um the third note. Okay, I hear breathing in the walls. I'm not alone. Okay. The key! Oh wow, what is that? Okay, it's a shape. <laughs> what would happen if I It's actually using the jump scare sting. Okay, that is nice. It was not really scary, but it was good. Okay, this time, let's try and finish the game. I'm gonna take you. Okay. There's a door here. Stop whispering, we're done. Okay, so this is the last note. I can see something fell in the center of the room. That is definitely the key. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Yoink! You found the exit key, find the door! Okay, let's go to the door, let's finish this. There you go. You finally escaped. The nightmare is over. For now. I'm just gonna pretend that game was difficult and terrifying. Jokes aside, I like it much better than what ChatGPT created. Although Gemini's work was now really scary, I think if I just asked Gemini to use a 3D model of a monster, it would be scarier, like this. But what do you guys think? Which model do you think did a better job? Is it ChatGPT or is it Gemini? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys want to see more videos like this one, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. We are almost close to reaching 100k subscribers, so subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.